Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here we have today from the Figure Eye Standard is Dragon Ball Super's Son Goku Ultra Instinct. So I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a lot of uh, flack for this, but I've never actually seen Dragon Ball Super. I've seen all of Dragon Ball, seen all of Dragon Ball Z, seen a majority of the movies, especially the uh, more recent ones. However, I just, I couldn't really get into Super. Uh, now eventually I will, because I actually really love the Ultra Instinct mode. Uh, or I guess you really can't call it a mode, but I guess a form. But yeah, I absolutely love it. I love everything about the series itself. Um, it's one of those kind of journeys, much like, you know, One Piece, I would say. But instead of the journey being, uh, you know, friends and, you know, kind of the adventure, I think it's more of a self-discovery and kind of like, you know, self-development kind of story. That's my interpretation. I'm probably wrong, but that's the way I look at Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Uh, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and take a look at this model. So the first thing I actually want to address is this. So I get that, yeah, this is a model kit and this is more than likely just, you know, they're trying to like show off the model in this form. But I would say, wouldn't it be better if this was like more of, you know, anime Goku and Ultra Instinct and not like the model? Because this right here, and then I'm pretty sure this right here is a seam line. This just looks weird. Um, but ultimately like this looks, I don't know. I don't, I don't like, I don't like the way they, they did this. This to me does not look very good. And they more than likely has done this, uh, in the past line, um, with all the other DBZ, uh, figurines or models, I should say. However, I'm just not, I'm not into this. This does not look that great. And then here you have the muscle build up system. So build the ultimate warrior. So I don't really have anything to compare this with. I built, I built Android 18, uh, but I have not built any other Saiyans. So I can't really say for certain how this is a direct improvement. And right here on the side, you do have some nice little front and rear shots of them and a little saying down there. But also here is where you get all the action poses. So I have seen the full fight of him in Ultra Instinct. Uh, it looks really cool. I'm that's I mean that's the main reason I actually you know bought this because I think the Ultra Instinct you know form is probably his best looking form. Like I, maybe not as much as Super Saiyan 2. I really love Super Saiyan 2, but this I don't know the silver hair just really does it for me. So ultimately you see all the little gimmicks. You see the hands and he is going to have some nice little effect parts right here for the Kamehameha. Uh, and then over here you get some different facial uh, plates. So I'm pretty, I'm actually really happy about that because this is the one I'm really, really excited for. I want to put them in some amazing action poses. And over here you do get some information on the actual Ultra Instinct mode, uh, essentially how he, you know, acquired it through fighting Jiren, and just some other little details. And over here you see some more information on the muscle buildup system. So it actually does look really good, and that's something I'm pretty excited about. So. I'm, I'm expecting a lot of great poses because this looks like it's going to be able to just put itself into a lot of great poses. Uh, you know, a little ab crunch is going to be fine. Uh, so I'm excited about that. And then over here, you are going to get some more of the updated ones, I guess, that are utilizing this new system. So even though the price tag is not right here, I can tell you guys at new type, you can actually pick this kit up for $31. And I do want to go ahead and give a shout out to new type for sponsoring this video. So let's go ahead and open it up. And the first one we're going to take a look at is Runner K1. Now this is going to have all the flesh colored parts. So, you know, the chest, you got the hands and everything, uh, the shoulders. So everything looks really good and has a lot of great detail in it. You know, the abs itself actually looks really damn good. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty hyped to actually build this. Uh, cause I have not built a figure eye standard, I think in about two years. So this should be a pretty damn good kit to put together. And you are going to have Runner K2, which is going to be a small part to a K1. And for Runner Q, you're going to have a lot of silver right here for that hair, which actually looks pretty damn good. And then the torn undershirt, which just kind of like hangs over the trousers. Uh, you get the face plates all right here. So yeah, it looks pretty good overall. Uh, this is going to be the eyebrows, but this is ultimately a new runner once again for this kit. Okay, so now moving on to more of the reuse uh, runners. This runner came out in 2016, uh, which I'm assuming is going to be the first Goku. Uh, I mean, it's the trousers, so uh, you know, there's really no need to change it. It's pretty much the same build, uh, but yeah, ultimately the, you're gonna have all this orange uh, that is gonna be for the trousers. 
And then for runner C2, that should be the same for this. Uh, you are gonna have parts for the actual like, you know, chest uh, shirt, but this is probably not gonna be utilized and you're gonna have like the shoes and everything and more of the trousers. Uh, but ultimately that's pretty much about it for this runner. And runner D should also be a reused runner. Uh, this is going to be just a blue, so you got the shoes, you got parts for like the trousers once again. Uh, looks pretty good, you know, I'm not really, oh, this is gonna be more for the, uh, this is actually the little V-neck part of the shirt. But yeah, the blue looks good. I, I, honestly, I really like this. I think this is gonna be something that I'm, I'm gonna have a great time building because I love the colors, love all the little details and designs into it. Uh, makes it actually look like cloth, not exactly like cloth, but he's like, you know, you look at this and you're like, yeah, that's a cloth part uh, just because of how the wrinkles are. So ultimately, this is looking really good, but let's move on to the next two runners. And you're gonna have a clear stance. This is what's gonna be able to hold the effect parts. And here you go, you have clear blue for the Command Mail Wave. Uh, this is going to be one, I think this right here fuses to where you can actually uh, just hold it, you know, in his hand. And then this is where you just, you know, actually throw it. So ultimately it looks really good. I'm pretty, I'm pretty hyped to get this into a lot of amazing poses for you. So I would, I would definitely expect this review to be something of amazement because I love I love, love, love Dragon Ball Z, and I have a lot of the SH figure arts. So having more just like Dragon Ball, you know, Z or Dragon Ball Super stuff in my collection really gets me, you know, hyped. So I really want this to be a great build, so that way I have a valid reason to go ahead and purchase even more. And surprisingly, all the stickers are just kind of like these little orange strips. I know it kind of looks a little red on camera, but they're definitely orange. Uh, but yeah, just a little couple of strips and that's pretty much gonna go on like a lot of the, uh, the little shoes and trousers and everything. And lastly, we do have the manual. Uh, so nothing really too special. You're just gonna have some, uh, some coloring right in there and more color pages there, more color pages right here, which actually shows you, um, you know, how to assemble the Kamehameha and yeah, that's pretty much about it. So just instructions, instructions, instructions. We don't really have anything too crazy for this. But yeah, you get some action poses, so maybe I might replicate a couple of these, but for the most part, I'm just gonna do my own little poses. So yeah, color guide down there if you do want to uh, know what the color guide is, but I'm pretty sure if you're wondering what the color guide is, you're probably already purchasing this kit, so you'll go ahead and see that as well. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much about it, guys. Uh, this should not take me too long. I'll probably build this in a couple of hours, and then I'll have the review up for you this weekend. But yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, definitely thank you for watching, and I should have a couple of good reviews this weekend because nothing is going on. Uh, but other than that, I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.